the Faculty of Law was established in 1924. The law faculty is claimed to be one of the largest law schools in India. The centre is situated in the university's north campus in Morris Nagar, and is surrounded by a host of other academic institutions such as the Dalit Ram College, St. Stephen's College, Delhi, Hindu College, Delhi School of Economics, and the Faculty of Management Studies. The school attracts students from every state of India and more than 20 countries of Asia, Europe, America and South Africa. It has over 4,000 students and 100 full-time faculty members any time on its rolls. The alumni of this institution include judges of the Supreme Court and High Courts, ministers of union and state governments, civil servants, and many of India's lawyers. It has been consistently ranked in the top three laws schools of the country and finished at the second position in the year 2012. Among law schools offering three-year LLB courses to graduate students, it is rated as the best by Lawyers Update a monthly magazine for legal professionals and students. It has the most powerful alumni network in the legal profession. Of the 35 sitting judges of the Delhi High Court, 31 are from the Faculty of Law, Delhi University. History. Equals origin equals, the Faculty of Law was established in 1924 and the then Vice-Chancellor of the University of Delhi Hari Singh Gaur was its first dean. The faculty was initially housed in the Prince's Pavilion in the old Viceregal Lodge grounds. It was only in 1963 that the faculty moved to its present location at the Chhatra Marg, University of Delhi, Delhi. The Bachelor of Law's degree course was, initially, started as a two-year part-time course, teaching being conducted in the morning with ten teachers. In 1942, along with the morning, evening classes were also started. In 1944, the one-year Master of Laws degree course was introduced. In 1947, after independence and partition of the country, the demand for the study of law increased. It was also time to look beyond the entrenched British model and restructure legal education to meet the demands of a now independent India clamouring for equality in access to power, respect and knowledge. Lawyers played a major role in the struggle for freedom. They now had to be trained to create and use law as an instrument of social change and, as Nehru put it, to wipe a tear from every eye. In 1947, LLB was made a full-time course and new courses were added. LLM was made a whole-time two-year course. Two new courses, namely, Certificate of Proficiency and Bachelor of Civil Laws were introduced. The year 1966 was a turning point in the history of the Faculty of Law and Legal Education in the country. Dean P. K. Triopathy and his team of dedicated teachers adopted and implemented almost all the recommendations, in the 1964 report of the Gajendra Gadka Committee on Legal Education. The two-year LLB course was made a three-year course with an internal examination at the end of each semester. There were major innovations in the method of teaching, the discussion method of teaching was to be followed and not simply the lecture method where students were merely passive recipients of information. Towards this end, the case method of teaching, with decided cases and other study materials being given to the students in advance was introduced, which enabled the Delhi Law School to achieve the goal of making students active participants in the learning process, thereby also ensuring an in-depth study of law. Teacher participation in the management of the law school was ensured through appointment of various committee with elected members. Equals 1970 equals, in 1970, to meet the increasing demand for more evening admissions, Evening classes in the Faculty of Law were discontinued and two new evening centres were established, Law Centre I at Mundur Marg in 1970 and Law Centre II at Dawla Kuan in 1971. The admission in these centres is as per merit in entrance exams. Equals expansion equals, the best law faculty, established in 1924, is at the threshold of great expansion and innovation. The hallmark of this expansion and innovation is the decision of the university to integrate all the three law centers into one single unit. To be located in an area of nearly 13 acres at Dwarka, New Delhi, the existing faculty of 75 will add 212 new members. From the academic year 2010 November, 
the faculty would increase admission intake by 54% as decided by the university to give full effect to 27% reservation in admissions in LLB and LLM. Courses for the socially and educationally backward classes. This will increase the student's strength considerably with the annual intake of 2445 in LLB and 106 in LLM. Courses. The total student strength is likely to go to more than 5,000. The Faculty of Law attracts students from abroad. These foreign students come from highly developed and developing countries including United States of America, United Kingdom, France, China, Korea, Mongolia, Iran, Nepal, etc. They join LLB, MCL and PhD programs. During this year, two foreign nationals, one each from Korea and Iran, were awarded PhD degree on subjects such as law of partnership and criminal law. The student visitors for a limited period study included Ms. Li Lairu, lecturer, Law Institute, Chinese Academy of Social Sciences and International Business School, Yunnan University of Finance and Economics and Ph.D. Scholar visited the faculty in March, 2010 to collect research and study materials on law of contract for her research work. Three students from France, viz. Ms. Clara Giraud, Jean-Baptiste Collard and Penelope Bouchard, exchange students from Lyon 3, France are presently studying at this faculty from the beginning of the current academic year. They have been allowed to opt courses of LLB. At their choice. Programs offered, the Faculty of Law is currently offering the following courses, Bachelor of Laws, LLB, Master of Laws, Master of Comparative Laws, Doctor of Philosophy, and, Doctor of Civil Laws. Equals Structure of LLB. Entrance Exam Equals, the entrance test paper will have 175 objective type questions with multiple choice answers. Each question carries four marks and wrong answer deducts one marks. Generally cut-off varies between 300 to 450 for all the three centers. Questions are mainly from English language comprehension, to test the ability to analyze written information, comprehending the main ideas and significant details and drawing inferences from the material presented and testing the general comprehension of language including grammar. Analytical abilities, legal awareness and aptitude for testing the ability to evaluate an assumption, inference or argument that is presented in a short statement and solving the legal problems. For testing general awareness aptitude about law and the legal system. And general knowledge. The test contains maximum number of questions from current affairs and general knowledge. Total marks equals 175 times 4 equals 700. See Postgraduate Admission Portal of University of Delhi, PG Admission Portal. Equals Structure of LLM. Entrance Exam Equals, the test paper will consist of 175 objective type questions with multiple choice answers in the following areas, viz. Constitutional Law of India, Jurisprudence, Law of Contracts, Law of Torts, Criminal Law, Family Law of Marriage and Divorce and Public International Law. Deans, Hari Singh Gore 1924-26, A. C. Bose 1926-29, Abdul Rahman 1929-34, Ram Kishia 1934-43, Ayu Singh 1944-45, S. S. Nigam 1946-47, L. R. Sive Subramaniam 1947-55, 1956-62, M. P. Jain 1955-56, M. Ramawami 1962-65, P. K. Tripthai 1965-71, 1981-84, K. B. Roatji. 1971-75, Upendra Bhaksi 1975-78, D. K. Singh 1978-81, K. Poonaswamy 1984-86, K. K. Nagam 1986-89, P. S. Sangal 1989-92, Tyer Mahmood 1992-94, D. H. R. U. V. Aurora 1995, M. P. Singh 1994-97, S. K. Verm 1997-98, A. K. Cole 1998-2001, Parman and Singh 2001-03, Surendra Press at 2003-04.
Namita Agarwal. 2004-07, SN Singh 2007-10, Gudip Singh 2010-2013, Professor Ashwani Kumar Bansal 2013, till date. Law Centers, the Faculty of Law now has three law centers, the Campus Law Center in the Faculty of Law Building on Chhatra Marg, Delhi 110007, Law Center I in the Faculty of Law Building also on Chhatra Marg, Delhi 110007 and Law Center II in the Atma Ram Sanitan Dharam College Building at Dorla Kuan, New Delhi 110021. Each law center has its own teaching faculty and administrative staff. The three law centers conduct the LLB program. In addition, there is a fourth unit headed by the Dean, Faculty of Law, which administers Master of Laws. Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Civil Law program along with Master of Comparative Law for foreign students. The faculty has been admitting students from many foreign countries such as Bhutan, Ethiopia, Germany, Indonesia, Iran, Japan, Jordan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Ukraine and Vietnam, etc. to these programs. The classes for the postgraduate courses are conducted in the Faculty of Law. The Campus Law Center classes are held during the daytime, starting from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Law Center I has three batches commencing from 11 a.m. to till 9.15 p.m. The morning batch from 11.00 to 3 p.m., afternoon batch from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and the evening session from 6 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. The students can opt for either session. The Law Center II classes are currently held in the evening from 6.15 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. The total number of students admitted to the first year of the LLB course is about 2,400. The admission is on the basis of an entrance test conducted by the Faculty of Law. The admission to the three centers is held once a year. Teaching and examinations at the respective centers are conducted under the control and supervision of the professor in charge of the concerned law center. The faculty currently has a total strength of 130 full-time and 14 part-time teachers. The Faculty of Law at Delhi University is among the top five law colleges in India. Despite the fact that three-year LLB courses are fading away in terms of attraction, Faculty of Law at Delhi University still maintains its quality and standards. However, the recent reservations for OBC may hamper the growth and development of the faculty as there is acute shortage of resources and increased number of students will further aggravate the situation. Teacher-student ratio is poor and needs an improvement. Rank Rank 3 India Today's 2013 Law Schools Ranking Rank 2 India Today's 2012 Law School Ranking Rank 4 The Week's 2011 Law School Ranking and India Today's Ranking Rank 4 India Today's 2010 Law School Ranking Despite the fact that Faculty of Law is on second, third or fourth rank in the previous years it remains on no one position among all three years law schools in previous years. Publications The Faculty of Law has been publishing a journal titled Delhi Law Review since 1972. The journal for year 2012 is ready to go to press. The Delhi Law Review Journal for 2013 invites articles, Notes and comments for which last date of December 15, 2013 is fixed. It appears from 2013 CLC Campus Law Center Journal will be Journal of Campus Law Center, Jolt by Law Center I, a journal titled National Capital Law Journal since 1996 by Law Center II, Winds of Change Annual Report of Legal Service Society of Law Center I. Library The Library of Faculty of Law was established in July. 1924. It is one of the best law library in the country. It is maintained by the staff of 20 employees. It has over 1,50,000 books and a large number of law reports and journals. It subscribes to nearly 140 national and international journals. The library uses Trudon, for software for the issue and return of books with barcode method. The library has a dedicated e-resource center with computers for accessing a large number of electronics databases of journals and reference sources subscribed by it like, LexisNexis, British Parliamentary Papers, Oxford University Press, World Bank Online etc. The Law Faculty Library has a collection of books, journals and periodicals. This library caters to the needs of all the students, 
research scholars and teachers of the faculty. In addition, the Law Center I and Law Center II have their own libraries which are used mainly by the students and teachers of the Concerned Law Center. Moot Court Every year students of Faculty of Law participated in different moot courts competitions in different law schools and it also conduct national and international level moot courts in its campus like, KK Luthra International Moot Court by Campus Law Center, NHRC and LC1 Moot Court on Human Right by Law Center I, Delhi NCR Moot Court by Law Center I. Legal Services Program The faculty has been running a legal services program since the early 70s. The program is sustained by the voluntary participation of the law students, teachers and lawyers who are inspired by the legal aid ideals. The main objective of legal services program are to a. impart clinical legal education, provide social service opportunities, and impart socially relevant legal education. The faculty's recent legal services program includes legal services at the Beggars Court, the Juvenile Justice Board and visit to the Tihua Jail. The faculty has a comprehensive program for clinical legal education with a view to undertake activities such as moot courts, legal aid services, legal awareness and professional skills development for the students of all the three law centers, in addition to curricular course on clinical legal education and practical training. Law Center-1 run its own legal services clinic in collaboration with the Delhi State Legal Services Authority. The faculty also is associate with Delhi State Legal Services Authority Paralegal Volunteer Program PLV, and Mass Legal Literacy Campaign and Opening of Legal Literacy Clubs in Schools and Colleges HTTP, DLSA Nikon Reports HTML equals Activities equals, Legal Services Clinic, Legal Awareness Programs, Prison Visits, Lock Adalet Hostel Accommodation there are 12 hostels for male and female students who are pursuing full-time courses in the university. These are, Goya Hall, International Students House, Jubilee Hall, Manzarova Hostel, Postgraduate Men's Hostel, University Hostel for Women, Megdut Hostel, DS Kathari, VKRV Ra Hostel, International Students House for Women, Northeast Students House and WUS University Hostel. However, Hostel facilities will be available only to CLC, LC1 and LLM. Two-year course students as per rules and procedure prescribed from time to time by the university and the hostel authorities about which information can be obtained directly from the provost of the concerned hostels. Delhi University attracts maximum number of outstation students. It is estimated that over 10,000 undergraduate students from outside Delhi are admitted every year in the university-affiliated colleges. Delhi University does not offer any hostel accommodation at the undergraduate level, only individual colleges provide hostel facilities. Foreign students are accommodated at International Student Euro Unregistered Trademark S Hostel. Foreign girl students are accommodated in PG Women a Euro unregistered trademark S hostel. The capacity of college hostels is limited, accommodating less than 20% of all hostel applications. Out of the 13 hostels available for undergraduate students in Delhi University, 11 are in North Campus colleges and 2 are off campus. Candidates seeking admission to hostel may contact the college concerned directly. Notable alumni Somnath Bharti former law minister Delhi government, Ajit Joji, former chief minister of Kutiskar. Miss Mayawati, ex-chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, four times, and BSP Supremo. A K. Saikri Judge Supreme Court of India, Arun Jaitley, cabinet minister and PM Narendra Modi's government as minister of defense and minister of finance. R. K. Nishanka, senior partner and head of patents, Anand and Anand. Ashwani Kuma, former Minister of Law, Bishwajit Bhattacharya, former Additional Solicitor General of India. Tananja Y. Chandrawad, Bombay High Court Judge and then appointed Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court in October, 2013. Dr. Jayabai, Mayor, Municipal Corporation Delhi. Gopal Subramaniam, former Solicitor General of India, Kapil Shaibal, former Cabinet Minister of Human Resource Development, Communications and Information Technology and Ministry of Law. Kiran Bedi, 
former Director General at the Bureau of Police Research and Development. Mira Kuma, Speaker of Lok Sabha. Arkana Shankar, Senior Partner, Anand and Anand. Pankaj Basani, Head of Taxation, Vodafone India Services Private Ltd., O.P. Verma, former Chief Justice of Kerala High Court. Parag Trapathi, former Additional Solicitor General of India. Pinaki Misra, Member of Parliament from Lok Sabha. Rao Inderjit Singh, Member of Parliament from Gurgaon. Ratan K. Singh, Advocate and Arbitrator. Rekha Sharma, Delhi High Court Judge. Rohinton Nariman Judge, Supreme Court of India. Former Solicitor General of India, Siddharth Luthra, Additional Solicitor General of India. Y.K. Sabhawal, 36th Chief Justice of India. Mohan Parser and Solicitor General of India, Kiran Rajiju, MP, Union Minister, Arun Singh, Kinjal Singh IASUP Kudder, Niraj Kishan Kaur, Ex-Judge, Delhi High Court. References External links, Official Website of University of Delhi, Official Website of Campus Law Center, Official Website of Law Center I, Official Website of Law Center II. I, Official Website of Legal Services Society, Supreme Court of India, Delhi High Court, Official Website of Delhi District Courts, Placement Committee, Bar Council of India, 28A degree 41 a euro squared 13 a euro cubed N77A degree 12 a euro squared 28 a euro cubed E.